This is WENY News. Hey, thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross DiMatte. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. One person is dead after colliding with a garbage truck in Ulysses. The Tompkins County Sheriff's Office says it happened at the intersection of Perry City Road and Trumansburg Road yesterday afternoon. The driver of a small sedan pulled out in front of the Casella waste truck and then they collided. The road was closed for many hours while the scene was cleared and investigated. And police say the driver of the sedan was pronounced dead on the scene. Our media partner, News Talk WHCU, confirmed the driver was a woman, but her name has not been released yet. The investigation is ongoing. This morning, WENY is working to learn more about a man who tried to have sexual contact with a minor in Tioga County, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania State Police have arrested 44-year-old Timothy Gardner from Westfield, PA. They say earlier this month he solicited a minor for oral sex on Facebook. Gardner is currently in the Tioga County Prison, but no other information has been released at this time. The Elmira Veterans Administration Clinic is packing up and changing locations. According to the VA, the current facility on Madison Avenue will be relocated to 1316 College Avenue. The VA says the move will help improve operations and efficiency, and the current location will continue to operate as normal until January 7th. The new location will open up on January 12th on College Ave. The way we see court cases being covered on the news will soon be changing. This after many 20-year-old restrictions on cameras in New York courtrooms were lifted. Court officials say the old rules failed to encourage open access to proceedings. The revisions allows two still photographers instead of just one, as well as two audiovisual camera operators. Media no longer have to ask permission to film in court seven days in advance, and the rules still prohibit recording juries, rape victims, compulsory witnesses, or anyone the judge says would be endangered. But judges still have the final say on whether or not to allow media access to a trial. The changes take effect on February 15th. And now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with a look at the forecast. Hey there, Craig. Hey, Ross. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, like we've been pounding the table here uh, all week and even going in the last week saying, look, temperatures are way above normal again. And well, we're still on course and on track for that. So let's talk about way above average temperatures. Average high 35, average low 19. It's eyebrow raising how above normal we're going to be. And temperatures are kind of act kind of weird today because normally you think as we head into the evening, temperatures start to cool off. Well, I don't think it's going to be the case today. Actually, I think they're going to continue to rise and we could be in record territory already at midnight. Of course, midnight starts a new day. The record high for Thursday is 60. We could be near 60 at midnight. And that's not to mention a record high minimum or the warmest low temperature, which for Thursday is 47. It's two records in the books again. So we just talked about reaching for records. And it's a perpetual pattern persisting through the weekend and even into next week. Well, what do you mean by that, Craig? Well, we have an opportunity for rain almost daily. Let me squeak out a dry day here for Christmas. So today, the one thing you're going to notice when you step out this morning is it's foggy. And it will likely be foggy through 8, 9 o'clock. And then we should get some filtered sunshine, but new scattered showers arriving later today. 60 degrees, uh, kind of tricky because that probably won't occur until like 11 o'clock or midnight. Southwesterly winds near 10. Unusually warm overnight tonight. And there will be some occasional rain. 55 likely occurring in the evening. And then temperatures actually start to rise as we head towards and past midnight, 50s into the 60s with a south wind 5 to 15. Northern tier today, mid 50s with some filtered sunshine once we get rid of the fog and then some new scattered showers as we head into the afternoon. Same deal for Elmira. Keep in mind these temperatures are likely later today, like in the evening. Upper 50s to near 60 over the Finger Lakes today with some fog, then filtered sunshine and new scattered showers. Here's the last six hours of radar and satellite data. Not too far away to the south, we have the wet weather. Let's get a better vantage point as we zoom out. You can see the atmosphere kind of reloading down here. 
Uh, this is all going to head in our direction, so new scattered showers developing as we head through the afternoon. Low pressure here, once again, will ride up through the Great Lakes, and that once again means a push of above average temperatures for us. So again, 60 today, but that's later today. 50s and rising through the overnight into the 60s, near 70, I think, on Christmas Eve day. A few scattered showers around, and temperatures will start to cool off a little bit as we head into the uh, finish of the day. Cold on Christmas. Well, not really, but 54, it's going to be noticeable when we go from 70 to 54. <laughs> New rain later Saturday, so there's that perpetual pattern I was telling you about. And Sunday, uh, scattered showers, periods of rain, lower 50s, a little bit closer to normal by Monday. Some scattered rain or wet snow showers, 38. And then some new rain as we headed to Tuesday with temperatures back in the mid-40s, Ross. All right, thank you, Craig, for the latest news, weather, and sports. Be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 536 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Enjoy your Wednesday.